Um, Joel Beers uh, had mentioned he was doing a play about baseball that he had done before, re- revived it uh, from like 15 years ago. And uh, I grew up a baseball player, so before I even uh, wanted to be an actor, um, it was kind of like a dream come true. So um, he approached me, uh, saw me in a production, and he wanted me to come read for it and come uh, come audition. So uh, as fate would have it, uh, got to play the title role. So it's pretty exciting. Um, I've been gearing up for it for, for quite some time, but it's finally all coming together. And because we don't have any, uh, there's no audio to go off of and there's no um, real video footage. There's like archival video footage, but nothing of uh, of the athletics that I could find, the Philadelphia Athletics of 1904, 05, 06. But the challenge is to keep him respectable, right, throughout the whole thing, but but just human at the same time, right, and uh, and making sure people. Um, honestly, the biggest challenge was I'm a right hander. I'm a righty, so uh, teaching myself, learning how to throw the throwing motion from my left hand has been the biggest challenge but um one that i have had a lot of fun fun with you know just trying to get get it into the groove and hopefully do it some justice rue Baudel was uh he was fascinating and uh you know in a time where a lot of stuff uh maybe went kind of undiagnosed as far as like uh, uh mental incapacities or stuff like that um he he was so eccentric, and I think the his arc throughout the play is just uh, it's kind of a roller coaster ride. Um, but he's got he's got a lot of loves. Rube had uh, four major loves, and it was baseball, I think, first and foremost. Uh, fishing came a very close second, and uh, fire trucks. Not just fire trucks, but um, he was a volunteer firefighter, and. Um, he loved a lot of things, but I think those those three, and then when Ida Tarbell came along, um, I think that was that was the straw that kind of broke the camel's back, and he was he was figuratively putting all his chips in um, because he he wanted that because he felt and baseball was so high on the list because not only did he have his identity there, but he had a family there, you know, and and these guys were not just his teammates, but they were his brothers and. Um, I can attest to that, like that, that, that feeling is, is one that, uh, is pretty powerful and doesn't, doesn't go away. when you don't have that, it, it can be tough. It can be tough to survive, but, um, yeah, I would say baseball, fishing, I to Tarbell and, uh, fought and fires, right? He's got a lot of loves. And I think his identity was found obviously mostly in baseball because he was good at it, but he had a lot more than just, uh, just a, a fiery left arm. He um, he had a big heart, and a lot of it is based on legend and myth and that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, a lot of the the facts that you that history kind of presents itself is that uh, yeah, he just he had compassion for people outside of, and he didn't really there was there was no no place no time where it wasn't appropriate to help someone. So I think that's that's pretty cool. He uh, he's all over the place. Um, in a lot of good ways. He had his demons, like we all do. Dealt with those, dealt with those things, and ultimately it was his, his, uh, his end. But um, for the time that he was, I mean, just based on the stats alone, it's kind of incredible. I mean, I'm a huge Dodgers fan, so for him to have the uh, the career or the season uh, strikeout record until Sandy Koufax came along, um, it's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible for that to hold up for that long. Um, and then just some of the legends that you hear, uh, it's a pl- it's an absolute honor to be able to play somebody like that. So I want him to just have fun. And, and I just sitting back doing some of these rehearsals, these preliminary and now gearing up for the, the opening. Um, I feel like sometimes I am watching a baseball game, you know, I'm at the stadium and that's how I want people to feel. You know, I'd love for people to come away with, uh, like they just saw sort of the highlight reel of baseball's sort of startup and uh this eccentric character who uh came in pretty fast and was gone just as fast um but yeah it's it's pretty amazing because it's a it's for the whole family it really is it's a family show that 
it's just fun. And by the end of it, I think you'll have a better appreciation for some of these historical figures. So it's timely. It's really timely. It, uh, it touches on so many things, but at the end, you know, it's a highly fictionalized play, but, uh, b by the end you feel like you have a better understanding for, uh, America's pastime really. And, uh, Again, I'm a little biased because my Dodgers are, are on the way. Hopefully this will be the year. But uh, um, you walk away with a better appreciation for that and uh, some of these figureheads who founded the game, you know, um, the, the, the coaches, just all the people. And, and, and the it's timely because of the, uh, the social climate at that time as well. And this play touches on that um, significantly. And uh, Rube is kind of like a you know, a little bystander all the way throughout. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think you'd be doing yourself a disservice not to come see it. So,